Hello, good morning. So, as you see, I changed my look a bit <laughs> into a bunch of flowers and an Indian and feather. I love how it's called in German Indian feather, the plant. So, um, this video is to help you stay focused to assist you in staying focused where you want to be because as we all know what you focus on expands and I'm not gonna say the word <laughs> because I don't want to but there's um, some panic here and there going on some people panic a bit more some people panic a bit less and there's always something that you can do yourself for you and for your surroundings i made myself a delicious cup of coffee and um, i wrote down some things i want to share with you <clears throat> which i will do now so you landed here because you either follow me or you were drawn here because of the keywords I used or your higher self led you here doesn't really matter so there's a message for you you are a conscious creator or you're aware that we can consciously create and that we're creating every second of the day which is also known as manifest manifesting. So you manifest every second of every day and you manifest everything. Now it might be that you think, okay, if I manifest any, everything, then how come that this is happening? Because this is not something that I want to happen. I will, maybe I'll make another video about that. That's actually not what it's about now. Um, oh, you know what, what I'll do? I'll make a blog post about it because Seth, um, who was channeled by Jane Roberts, he has a perfect explanation for what's going on and why it's happening and all that. So if that's of any interest to you, then read that blog post. I'll put it in the description. So back to the conscious creation part. So you're creating everything from your thoughts and your feelings always so from your focus and you can only focus on one thing at a time you can focus on positive feelings and then you create positive things or you focus on negative feelings you have negative feelings and then you create negative things <clears throat> so the first thing you need to do is find out where are you at at this moment or at the moment that you feel drawn to mm, check in so maybe you want to do it with me now or you can do it later or listen to it a couple of times a day whatever feels good for you so feel in your body now where are you do you feel calm are you curious are you anxious? What's going on in your body? Just check. How's your breath? Is it shallow? Is it deep? <coughs> I notice mine is a bit shallow because I'm talking to you and I want to give you all the, um, all the good information. <laughs> so I'm going to chill because I know I will give you the right information anyway. So check in. How do you feel? okay you probably established what's going on in your body you don't really necessarily need to know what thoughts have caused your feelings at this moment because your feelings are a result of the thoughts you're thinking or the beliefs you have like beliefs are more automatic than thoughts a belief is a thought you have been thinking for a longer time so it just automatically creates 
the feeling in your body. And by the way, as a sidestep, and I will also say that at the end um, of the video, or maybe I'll just say it once, <coughs> um, yoga helps me a lot to stay grounded, to stay focused. It's a physical practice and it's a mental practice. And um, my yoga school, which is now closed for public, we offer live streams. So <coughs> me and other teachers will be teaching yoga classes that you can book online and you can follow to stay grounded if you want. But anyway, that was a sidestep. So, okay, you know where you are, you know how you feel in your body. And as I said, it's not really necessary that you know which thought brought you there. It's necessary that if you do not feel right at the moment, that you know how to get yourself out of this feeling. And some people are more um, experienced in it than others, and it doesn't really matter. All you need is an intention, a want, and not to be emotionally involved in what it is that you're feeling. So if you're feeling something now that you don't want to feel, just look at it for what it is. It's just a feeling. Let it move through you instead of judging it. <coughs> because when you judge it, you make it more of a fact. You make stone out of it. And you can break stone too, but it's harder than if you don't judge it. It just stays what it is, like flowing energy, easier energy. Okay, let me take a sip of coffee. So, now you've established how you feel. You also know how you do want to feel and you want to feel good. I'm just assuming that you don't feel good, that's why you're watching this video, or you don't feel too perfect. Maybe you feel good, but you wanna feel perfect. And that's why you're watching this video. So you established where you're at, and now also establish where you wanna be, where you wanna go. I suggest that you don't make the, um, the jump too big. Don't go from feeling extremely panicky and, and anxious to higher than high, seventh heaven, cloud nine, because it is doable, but I won't, I wouldn't recommend it. It's like how Abraham Hicks says that if you are driving a car, like let's say uh, 90 miles an hour, and you want to make a U-turn and you do that 90 miles an hour, then um, it's pretty, what's the word? Likely that you will crash. <laughs> so don't try to get from there all the way from the right of the spectrum to the left. Just take small steps. <clears throat> okay, so, no, so you know where you wanna go. And then you start by little, uh, little affirmations that help you to go in that direction. So for instance, you don't feel safe now, you feel afraid, you don't know what's going to happen. You start with, I trust myself, I feel safe. We live in a safe universe, things always work out for me. Has there ever been a time that I was in real danger and things ended badly? Like you inquire with yourself and you will find out that nothing is going on. Everything is going on inside of you. You create from the inside out, not from the outside in. So maybe you want to also... Um, Make some affirmations for your family, your friends, your your neighbors, your whoever, everyone that you feel like you want to include in this. <clears throat> so, I'm safe. 
my family and loved ones are safe that kind of affirmations and feel how you feel after you've been thinking that do you feel calmer do you feel nice if you feel that nothing's happening and actually you, you're growing more anxious, then there's a big chance that you need some emotional release and release it. Cry, scream, whatever, scream in a pillow, punch a pillow, release it. It's, um, it's probable that the momentum got too big and, and it's not a problem, just release it, that's all. <clears throat> like pent up energy if you don't release energy that's um that wants to get out in the form of tears then it will get stuck into your body so never never um collect that don't pretend it's not there and you know the difference you very well know the difference you know your body and if you don't know the difference then i suggest that you get to know yourself better and um, that's easy by being aware, staying aware. <clears throat> you can um, have multiple blog posts that help you uh, with this as well. And, um, and you'll find the right videos or books to help you do that. Okay, so next step. Maybe you want to stay here and that's all that you want. Feel free from anxiety. And maybe you're like, yeah, no, I want to keep creating what I have been creating. Or maybe you created something already and you have another thing that you would like to experience in your world. <coughs> Could be anything, job, relationship, health, whatever your goal is. Like what is happening around us now the ones that are experiencing it in this reality because I'm pretty sure there are other realities people living in other realities at the moment that don't experience this but we cannot see because we see what we see now because of our focus on it that's how it works in parallel realities so you got your energy out of it you feel calm and you're like okay I'm going to focus on what I'm creating and a logical thing that might come up is yeah but how remember the how is never your job never ever ever the how belongs to the part of you that is non-physically focused the how is a built-in mechanism like you do not do anything except filling out the right forms, so to speak, feeling wise and thought wise. Everything else is taken care of. Like everything, look around you. Everything has been manifested perfectly. Did you have to do anything for it? No. The only thing you had to do is believe and think. And it go, this goes in the positive as well as in the negative direction. And when you think of it, there's no positive and negative in the universe. That's what we make of it. And it doesn't really matter because that's a whole different discussion. So know that the higher part of you or however you want to call it is in charge of the how and knows perfectly well how to create it. It doesn't need any help from you. The only thing you need to know is what do I want to create? Okay, how do I create it? I create it by feeling it real now. And listen, this is a really big distinction. This is a really important one. <laughs> one that I tripped up um, over a number of times myself because there's a very fine line between. Okay, I am creating now what I will receive in the future and you conjure up all these feelings and you're like yes it's coming it's coming but no that's not what it's about it's about having it now enjoying it now you are really having feeling experiencing everything that belongs to the version of you that already has this thing 
Do you feel the distinction? <clears throat> and if not, it doesn't matter, you will get there. If you do, wonderful. So always be in the state of having and feeling it now, not in the future. You're not doing it to get it in the future because then it will always be in the future. Have it now. It's mental fitness and it doesn't matter because you can do it. It takes practice. Just like you can do a backflip um, the first time you try, or maybe you can. I probably need to practice. So everything takes practice. And this is no different. Let me see, is there anything else? <clears throat> oh yeah, there's one other thing I wanted to say to you. Um, I would suggest that you don't try to make meaning out of this, that you're not going into what does this all mean and why is this and I think it's because of this. Who cares? It means what you have it mean. That's how it works. Like what you believe, that's true and you will always find proof for that. So stay out of trying to get having it mean anything. It doesn't mean anything. Maybe it means now you have time to really focus on where your thoughts have been focused. And now you understand how creating reality really works. And now you can super clearly see, okay, this is not what I want. This is what I want. Who knows? You know, and who cares? What is important is that you're calm, you trust yourself, you trust your environment and that you create what you want to create because you can have it all you can have it all and there's always a silver lining to everything so lastly um, I already said something about the yoga classes if you would like to attend one of the online yoga classes I'll put the link in the description and if you're like, yes, I would like to, but I don't have the time or I don't have the funds or whatever reason, there are enough free videos on YouTube. So I would suggest doing some yoga to keep you grounded and focused. And you've got this. And I see you in the next video. Big hug. Bye.